how important was your past in making you oh. who you are now? Oh, so that's the other thing. Yeah. And, and in the past, I'm glad that I made a lot of bad decisions. I'm glad I fucked up a lot. I'm glad that, um, yeah, I'm glad I did all of it. Because then when I talk to everybody else, I'd be full of shit. Like, I've been through it. I've been through the dark. I've been through the gray. I've been through trouble. I've made bad decisions. You know what, Katie? What people don't know also, I, like, I, I'm a big faith guy. I believe in God because that's my choice. People out there who don't, I never understood why you try and push it on me that you don't. Like, I, it doesn't hurt you that, I, that I'm a God guy. But I got kicked out of my first college, right, after a semester and a half with a whopping 0.00 GPA. I went down there, Westchester University of Pennsylvania. I went down so I could stop doing Jersey Shore things because I was living in Jersey. And at one point, I forgot that I wasn't Italian. I thought I was, you know. So <laughs> at one point, I forgot. I, I'm, fuck, I'm, I'm Jewish. I'm not even Italian. And I got kicked out of school. I went back, started doing Jersey things. And I met with a, a famous boxing trainer in a tailor shop in Secaucus, New Jersey, that was part of a crime family. And I signed on to box for them. And the day before my first ever practice, I'm walking up the street in Jersey and literally like a lightning bolt hit me. And it was like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? This, this is not who you are. You're not gonna go, don't, you're not gonna go box for the fucking Genovese crime family. What are you doing? And I never showed up to practice. And I left my hometown, moved to New York City and made the decision to change what I thought was cool. I used to think it was cool to be a shithead um, because I felt like such a bad person. I kept going down that road myself. I kept putting myself in that road more and more and more. Um, had I not made the decision to not go that day, a lot of lives would have, would have been different. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't have been able to hear because, look, I know I've saved you, you know, and you, your, your fourth amputation, you were, you were, you were done. You were asking me to go. And I was like, no, can't do it. Right. I was hosting the UFC out of Madison Square Garden and you're sending me and you're like, I'm done. I'm like, you can't do it, Kirsty. We need you. Right. And if I wasn't here and to build this team who all of us were texting you like, no, you can't go. You've got to be there. Then, um, God Almighty, I'm just glad I, I made the decision to not show up to practice that day. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have been here for a lot of y'all. And y'all wouldn't have been here for me moving forward. And, you know, you know that same pollen that was in the Rocks house last week, is it's out here too. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Same pollen. It's just pollen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, what you've created, what Nate's created, what MVP, I mean, the whole nine's created. I mean, it really is beautiful. Yeah. So at the end of the day, we can all look back and say we're proud of what we've done or what we did um, and look forward and say, you know what, we're going to still keep trucking on for each other. And, yeah, you're damn right. If you didn't make that choice back then, you wouldn't be here. If I didn't make those choices back then, I wouldn't be here for you. So I think um, when it's all said and done, you know, the hell that we've all walked through makes us better, better people in the end.